Well, I'm back at Black Point for another seagrass update. A little late, the end of August uh, 29th. And uh, paddled over here and the water's fairly clear. Uh, what I could see just from paddling over it, there is some grass growing, there is some algae growing, there's stuff down there, not as thick that, as, that I would like to see for this time of year, but uh, I'll know better when I put the cameras down. I'm going to give it about another hour, let that sun come up a little better so I get a little more light uh, penetration down there, and uh, we'll take a look, see what's going on. Black Point. Well, put the cameras down, and I could see that there is grass growing. A little bit more than I expected. Um, you can't really tell from the video, but the grass is basically anywhere from two to four inches tall, so it's not very tall. Now, if you look at it compared to last year, this is last year, we had like two weeks of rain solid, and the uh, water was like orange, there was grass growing, but it was hard to see. And then, one month later, it was gone everything it was a desert out there so right now the you know, the water's clear we've had a few days of rain but not that bad the water's been clear the grass is growing not to the point i'd like to see if you look back two years ago here's a video two years ago it was a lot thicker and a lot fuller and i go back another year and you could see that it was looking good now the next two months are crucial it seems like these are the months where everything kind of disappears. So I did see clumps of seagrass in one area. And it was a little concerning, you know, it was good green grass and um, floating on the surface. And when I checked my last year's video, I did mention too that there was seagrass floating on the surface. So I don't know if it's a yearly thing that happens this year, but I am going to check into it with uh, people that know a little bit more about it and see what's going on. But, um, you know, once the seagrass is down, you know, I did see a lot of wildlife. I saw a lot of turtles, saw stingrays, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of bait fish swimming around. And you could look at the videos, you will see some of it, you know, off in the distance. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. And uh, there were some uh, predator fish out there. I, I know I hooked a trout, and I could see other fish attacking the bait schools. So, you know, when you do have the seagrass, it's a nursery for the shrimp, for the bait fish, and it'll attract everything from sea turtles to, to dolphins to redfish and snook. So it, it's a good thing, and also it helps clean and clear the water. So we have to do all we can to protect the seagrass, guys. And um, so let's see what happens. The next two months are going to be crucial. That seems to be the, uh, the time when everything gets nooked. So this is Pete Hink. Till next time, we'll see you.